How's everybody doing? This is volume two of the Matchbox Speed Kings Super Kings series. Here we have a mixed bag again, 10 different vehicles from both series and we're going to check them out right now in no particular order. First up is the Mercedes C111 concept car. The C111 was a very ambitious project by Mercedes-Benz uh, to build a car using a rotary engine. Um, this thing was um, in development stages and there were some prototypes made uh, but it never took off to the main stream. It was never put into production uh, for some unknown reason. I don't know why. Uh, it's not a particularly attractive Mercedes. As Mercedes go, um, it looks a lot more Italian. Yeah, wouldn't be my favorite Mercedes car. It's, just, it's an unusual looking car. It has gullwing doors. They don't open here. All that happens here is the boot opens and you can see the engine inside and by pushing a little button on the bottom of the car see it here you get uh, pop-up lights so yeah there she is pop-ups car comes in a really cool lime green with a strange orange undercarriage it's number K30 and it was made in 1971 next up is the K55 Corvette caper cart and this is from 1975 it's a pretty cool car I like the teal color also see the uh, logo, the twin flags on the bonnet and on the rear California number plates this car has nice curves and strange looking twin exhaust pipe on both sides overall pretty cool pretty cool car next up is the K37 Sandcat this is a, a beach buggy there's a wild animal's head on the bonnet. I think there's actually a version without that too. See the engine on the back. But overall, uh, you know, pretty boring and not much to write home about. But still, a cool collectible. If you look closely, you can see that the paint has little green flecks going through it. And it's from 1972. Next up is the K23. Mercury commuter. It's a pretty cool car. It's another one of those long American estates. Nice bit of detail on the boot. Mercury. Um, I think this was part of a, a two-pack uh, for rally support or something and it had tires, spare wheels on the roof but they're gone. Again it has opening doors. Nice little touch. The uh, rear does not open. Though. And the Mercury I must add, it's from 1970. The next one up is a beast. This is the Bazooka Dragster. This is pretty awesome. First of all, it has a ginormous V8 engine sticking up through the hood. Um, the intake pipes are snapped off here, uh, but I'm gonna replace those by drilling out the holes and I'm gonna put in some uh, small hilti nails, which would be about the right size and the right height. And they'll also have the kind of trumpet like tops that the originals had yeah this is a really cool one it has ginormous back wheels really really cool and trumpet like exhausts that are actually coming out the uh, side of the car four on each side yeah quite cool the front of the car is quite menacing too it's a bit humble looking but you can tell this thing was real it would be ridiculous you can see that it has just one steering wheel and one seat um, right in the middle so yeah 
this one is for burning down the line so here we go k43 44 speed kings 1973 can a tractor be a hot rod yeah anything is possible k3 this is a monster from 1973 um, it's got unusual wheels but again big huge v8 engine topped inside the uh, big body from the rear it's just got this big um seat and uh, huge exhaust pipes from the front uh, pretty ugly looking pretty mean it's got laido written on it it's also on the uh, engine block okay the steering wheel is actually missing from this one but um you see the clocks there and then it's got this uh, gear lever that actually shifts isn't that cool <laughs> nice little touch it's also pedals down here that move if you can see them. pedals at the bottom actually move yeah they go down through the floor like a like a real tractor pretty macho tractor okay next is a Volkswagen in Golf K86 and this is from 1981 I think these came with a petrol pump that's why the fuel cap has a little hole in it where you can put the fuel in neat little car um, wheels are quite small as well for Super Kings of that era it's just the uh, boot opens on this one there you go see the nose it's just got the VW sign there in chrome these came in a few colors white as well but it's got this massive tow hitch which is kind of out of place Porsche Turbo from 1979 fine model too looks a bit big though in um, regard to some of the models its number is K70 doors open to reveal that the steering wheel is gone <laughs> and the engine cover also so yeah this is pretty cool this also comes in a burgundy which is really cool um, I just picked up this one because it was so cheap yeah pretty cool car next up is number K74 and this one the Volvo estate I like Volvos um, personally because um, I've had two uh, V70s um, I still have one I really like them so I'm kind of biased towards the station wagons this one has opening doors right hand drive and the tailgate as they call it true Volvo style nice little bit of detail there Volvo and the um, 245 the actual bumper on this as well as uh, moves it's got the, the buffer tax disc on the window <laughs> uh, this came in a variety of models there's an ambulance there's also rally support and there's just family estates in different colors burgundy green which are kind of rarer yeah pretty cool model from 1979 we have the Plymouth Grand Fury from 1979. This bad boy is K78. It's a pretty cool car. It has opening doors and an opening trunk. This car also came in a number of varieties. Uh, police cars, yellow taxi, pretty cool. It's the racing support. Excellent condition with nice silver paintwork. Again, ginormous tow hook. Uh, so that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe. If not, well, be on your merry little way. Uh, thanks for watching and take care.